And it was in the night that Abram was born that all the servants of Terah and all the wise men of Nimrod and his conjurers came and ate and drank in the house of Terah, and they rejoiced with him on that night. And when all the wise men and conjurers went out from the house of Terah, they lifted up their eyes toward heaven that night to look at the stars. And they saw, and behold, one very large star came from the east and ran in the heavens, and he swallowed up the four stars from the four sides of the heavens. And all the wise men of the king and his conjurers were astonished at the sight, and the sages understood this matter, and they knew its import. And they said to each other, This only betokens a child that has been born to Tyra this night, who will grow up and be fruitful and multiply, and possess all the earth, he and his children forever, and he and his seed will slay great kings and inherit their lands. And the wise men and conjurers went home that night, and in the morning all these wise men and conjurers rose up early and assembled in an appointed house. And they spoke and said to each other, Behold, the sight that we saw last night is hidden from the king. It has not been made known to him. And should this thing get known to the king in the latter days, he will say to us, Why have you concealed this matter from me? And then we shall all suffer death. Therefore now let us go and tell the king the sight which we saw and the interpretation thereof, and we shall then remain clear. And they did so, and they all went to the king and bowed down to him to the ground. And they said, May the king live, may the king live. We heard that a son was born to Terah, the son of Nihor, the prince of thy host. And we yesternight went to his house, and we ate and drank, and rejoiced with him that night. And when thy servants went out from the house of Terah to go to our respective homes, to abide there for the night, we lifted up our eyes to heaven, and we saw a great star coming from the east, and the same star ran with great speed, and swallowed up four great stars from the four sides of the heavens. And thy servants were astonished at the sight which we saw, and were greatly terrified. And we made our judgment upon the sight, and knew by our wisdom the proper interpretation thereof, that this thing applies to the child that is born to Terah, who will grow up and multiply greatly, and become powerful, and kill all the kings of the earth, and inherit all their lands, he and his seed forever. And now our Lord and King Behold, we have truly acquainted thee with what we have seen concerning this child. If it seemed good to the king to give his father value for this child, we will slay him before he shall grow up and increase in the land, and his evil increase against us, that we and our children perish through his evil. And the king heard their words, and they seemed good in his sight. And he sent and called for Terah, and Terah came before the king. And the king said to Terah, I have been told that a son was yesternight born to thee, and after this manner was observed in the heavens at his birth. And now therefore give me the child, that we may slay him before his evil springs up against us. And I will give thee for his value, thy house full of silver and gold. And Terah answered the king and said to him, My lord and king, 
I have heard thy words, and thy servant shall do all that his king desireth. But, my lord and king, I will tell thee what happened to me yesternight, that I may see what advice the king will give his servant, and then I will answer the king upon what he has just spoken. And the king said, Speak. And Tira said to the king, Aeon, son of Mored, came to me yesternight, saying, Give unto me the great and beautiful horse that the king gave thee, and I will give thee silver and gold and straw and provender for its value. And I said to him, Wait till I see the king concerning thy words, and behold, whatever the king saith, that will I do. And now, my lord and king, behold, I have made this thing known to thee, and the advice which my king shall give unto his servants, that will I follow. And the king heard the words of Tira, and his anger was kindled, and he considered him in the light of a fool. And the king answered Tira, and he said to him, Art thou so silly, ignorant, or deficient in understanding to do this thing, to give thy beautiful horse for silver and gold, or even for straw and provender? Art thou so short of silver and gold, that thou shouldest do this thing, because thou canst not obtain straw and provender to feed thy horse? And what is silver and gold to thee, or straw and provender, that thou shouldest give away that fine horse which I give thee, like which there is none to be had on the whole earth? And the king left off speaking. And Tira answered the king, saying, Like unto this has the king spoken to his servant. I beseech thee, my lord and king, what is this which thou didst say unto me, saying, Give thy son, that we may slay him, and I will give thee silver and gold for his value. What shall I do with silver and gold after the death of my son? Who shall inherit me? Surely then at my death the silver and gold will return to my king who gave it. And when the king heard the words of Terah and the parable which he brought concerning the king, it grieved him greatly. And he was vexed at this thing, and his anger burned within him. And Terah saw that the anger of the king was kindled against him, and he answered the king, saying, All that I have is in the king's power. Whatever the king desireth to do to his servant, that let him do. Yea, even my son, he is in the king's power, without value in exchange. He and his two brothers, that are older than he. And the king said to Tira, No, but I will purchase the younger son for a price. And Tira answered the king, saying, I beseech thee, my lord and king, to let thy servant speak a word before thee. And the king heard the word of his servant. And Tira said, Let my king give me three days, till I consider this matter within myself, and consult with my family concerning the words of my king. And he pressed the king greatly to agree to this. And the king hearkened to Tira, and he did so, and gave him three days' time. And Tira went out from the king's presence, and he came home to his family and spoke to them all the words of the king, and the people were greatly afraid. And it was in the third day that the king sent to Tira, saying, Send me thy son for a price as I spoke to thee. And shouldest thou not do so, I will send and slay all thou hast in thy house, so that thou shalt not even have a dog remaining. And Tira hastened 
as the thing was urgent from the king, and he took a child from one of his servants, which his handmaid had borne to him that day. And Terah brought the child to the king and received value for him. And the Lord was with Terah in this matter, that Nimrod might not cause Abram's death. And the king took the child from Terah, and with all his might dashed his head to the ground, for he thought it had been Abram, and this was concealed from him from that day. And it was forgotten by the king, as it was the will of providence not to suffer Abram's death. And Terah took Abram his son secretly, together with his mother and nurse, and he concealed them in a cave, and he brought them their provisions monthly. And the Lord was with Abram in the cave, and he grew up. And Abram was in the cave ten years. And the king and his princes, soothsayers and sages, thought that the king had killed Abram. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to my channel, Strength Through Christ. Be blessed. Always.